Hey everyone, Shabim here and welcome back to season number four of Motorsport Manager. Right, first things first, before I forget, I need to fit these new dodgy parts to the cars now, don't I? Right, so let's have a look. So, brakes. We're not going to get the full effect out of this, are we? I mean, we are improving the parts, aren't we? But um, we need to repair them first, don't we? So brakes... Well, these are already better than what I've currently got on, but I'm a bit worried now about um, if we'll be able to level them up quick enough. So I'm going to do it this way first. We've got those on already. Got the best two of these on. Rear wing we need to put on as well. That's a big upgrade. Um, suspensions we need to put on for big upgrades. Right, so they've all got good upgrades now on the cars, which is nice. We've got all the risky parts on as well. We just need to see if we can get the performance of those parts improved. We are building one more new part as well. Let's see how that goes. Car condition, 12 hours to repair. Into for 11 sports. Um, We need more investment. There we go. Pit crew review. Slow again. And Ellis wins the Sydney Grand Prix. Right. Car repairs complete. Now, can we get some more of these improvements done? That's the question. 68 days after the race. So we're going to get some improvement done. It's not going to be as much as we hope, though, is it? So the brakes are being done, yes, and the suspension's being done as well. Okay, so we're going to make some drastic improvements. If you look at where we started this season, then, so 132 and 212, 369, 331. Uh, 111 and 189, 318 and 248. 196, 150, 369, 269. Um, 223, 223, 398, and 327, and 67 and 142, up to 163 and 244. Um, so yeah, bigger improvements so far. Just want to get some more improvement done as quickly as we can. There we go, prize money now. We're not going to get much prize money, we know that, because we come bottom again, but I think it was like 30 million. We're going to get 33.147 million this year, that's nice, we'll take that. Manager of the season goes to Volvo. Okay, and driver of the season goes to Ellis, who won the championship. Right, so new rules. We've got Cape Town added. Uh, we've got low-profile tyres, which are cheaper. And we're going to have qualifying back. Nice. Um, so Nissan move up to Formula 1. Haas moving down to Formula 2. Braun move up to Formula 2. And Peugeot move back down. Peugeot only got promoted up last season. They're going to get moved back down again. We're going to get these new brakes finished just before the end of the season. But what sort of benefit are they going to be? Of course, we've got a random part fitted. Oh, they got up to 424. They're awesome. But we're not going to get enough time to take full effect of them, are we? Um, let's have a look. Brakes. Oh, they are. Oh, they're still not better, are they? I mean, they're better than they were before. But... Um, we're not going to get enough time to improve them, are we? I mean, I can put them on here to improve, but again, they're not going to be improved quickly enough, are they? Because this, I think this is going to be the new car now, is it? Pre-season begins. So I think that was all the improvements we could have done. So we have improved our car a lot last season. It could have been better, I suppose, but we also run out of time here and there, didn't we? Um, so we made some changes... For the current formula is growing stale, we have decided that Formula 3 should utilise more efficient technologies to better reflect the car's development. This impact will change every part of the car and your designer will be briefed on a new set of specifications for the car be introduced in 2022. The initial loss of performance but on the bright side race will be much tighter. Okay, that could be beneficial for us. Now we get to build our new chassis. We've got £7 million in the bank to do that. So like I said, we're not going to go too bad or too much on this now because we don't need to. So what we're doing here, we're doing improvability is what we need the most of. So I mean, I don't mind going for a big cost here to get the good improvability. Um, fuel supplier. So this again is improvability. Oh, what? Is, so this tells me here there's the improvability and fuel efficiency. Okay. So base stat modifier is going to give us plus 15 on all of our stats. Okay, fuel supplier, we need a very strong improvability again. So that puts us up to there. That puts up a little bit higher for an extra 500k, we'll do that. 
Material supplier is not that important, so I feel like we're going to go weak, weak, or should we go medium, medium? Let's go medium, medium, and then break supplier. Um, let's go medium, medium again. So it's going to cost us 22 million, which is going to leave us with 18 million left. Is that okay? I mean, we've gone big on the engine, haven't we? 15. I think we need to get those base stat modifiers up, though, don't we? It's going to give us a big improvement, and we just to get that improvability up as much as we can. So it's better. Um, it's not really much difference. Is it improvability? We've gone for very strong. If we go for that, it gives us even more. No, it gives us actually less. So that is the best improvability we can get, I think. Um, tire heating, tire wear, medium, medium. And medium, medium there as well on tire heating. Okay, that's fine. So 21.185 million. It's going to leave us with 19 million left to spend for the season. Um, okay, it's going to take us a while to get this built. We can't build any more spare parts in the meantime, so it's going to take us... We might as well just keep going. We're going to go for a while now, aren't we? So car change has happened. New car design is unlocked. Got it. So it'll be interesting to see if this is going to make us a lot closer to the back of the pack now, then. Improvability game. That's what we want. Yes. I will pay the extra... We're going to lose one fuel efficiency, but we're going to get extra improvability, which is what we need. We need the improvability to be as good as possible. I'll take that all day long. Improvability now is almost maxed. Excellent. Um, okay, people are making some signings. Improvability gain. We've already done that, haven't we? Yep. Okay. Can you push it forward again? So I don't know if we're going to get much done. Although we've done the car build, so we've done the majority of the long work, haven't we? We'll have to see how long it is before the first race turns up, haven't we? Um, okay, Turner to retire. Le Mans champion. Oh, that's pretty cool. A unique opportunity. What is that then? Team marketability up. Chairman's happiness down. Um. Okay. Well, let's do that then. The chairman's not going to be happy. The chairman's happiness goes up pretty easily, but the team marketability is definitely going to help us with our sponsors for this season. So I think that's worth doing, to be honest. The chairman gets happy every race because he's only expect us to come last. He's happy. Right, livery is ready to go, which I think we're just going to stick what we got. Is that Mark Webber retiring? Yeah, there they are. And do we want to build anything in the HQ? We probably should have spent some money on this already, shouldn't we, really? Or do we want to save the parts for the car? I mean, we probably could go wind tunnel. So simulator is rear wing, wind tunnel is front wing. We don't need a uh, wind tunnel then, do we, at this point in time? We'll build the simulator. We should have done this a while ago, shouldn't we, really? And we'll do that then. And do we also want to build... The helipad gives us better sponsors. Let's get that built. It's not too bad, is it? And I'll save the rest for upgrading the car throughout the season. Okay, edit car library. We're going to stick with it. I'm happy with that. We don't want to change our custom colours, do we? Shabby racing pink is the way to go. So the car's going to be ready in a few days' time. We can start to make improvements then straight away. Contract ending? Whose contract's ending? I don't know, to be honest. Planned HQ visits. Um, okay, we're going out for pre-season stuff. Right, so... Bring Cohen's. I'm not get even more marketability there. Actually, it's going to bring Cohen's morale down, but I don't think that matters too much. Right here we go. Testing now. Then new car is complete. Uh, brace for testing. Let's see how it goes. I mean, it'd be nice just to be a little bit closer. We're nowhere closer, are we? Nowhere closer. We are even further behind than we were before. I think. Although I don't think this match makes too much of a difference, to be honest. But look how quick. Schumacher's car is. It's stupidly quick. He has got an oil leak, but it's stupidly quick. And we are again... We were not bottom two! Okay, that'd be interesting. It'd be interesting to see if that is... If there's anything to do with that. Whether Fuoco... If Fuoco was dodgy, I think Fuoco was just a really bad driver, I think. It seems that way, doesn't it? We'll see what happens as we move forward. Right. Our car is still pretty poor. Our drivers are 10th best on the uh, grid. Our headquarters is 11th best. 
And we're bottom on everything else. Okay. Um. Okay. Our designers, mechanics, and already start cracking on car improvements. Uh, we'll go 14 million for coming bottom of the group. Nice. 28 million we're up to now. Excellent. Right. So let's have a look. Wow. Look at that. Our medium speed corners. We're up. Our top speed. We're we're average. Yes, our car's actually half decent. Oh my god, I'm so happy. I'm so freaking happy. Right, so we need to deal with rear wing. Um, is our biggest problem. Acceleration's not very good either. So we could go for some better acceleration, plus 20. So what are we currently at then? So we're currently at on acceleration. Does it tell me what I'm currently at? It doesn't, does it? It'd be nice if it did tell me what I was currently at. So our current... Um, our current gearbox is 225. Okay, 225. So that alone puts up to 299. So that's a big improvement already, which is pretty nice. I like that. Um, well, let's get that built then. It's a big one. Now, do we want to improve our HQ anymore? That's a question. We've got some extra money now. So we probably could improve it some more. We don't need any of this stuff. Scouting center, we don't really need it yet either. Um, we could upgrade some buildings though. And um, we could upgrade the test track or get us up to legendary engines. And we could do one of these things. Telem telemetry center gets us up to epic gearboxes. It's only 6 million. We'll get that done then. We'll get the telemetry center done. Telemetry. Not telemetry. Telemetry. And then I think we keep the rest. We've got 22 million there. We probably could spend some more. Um, on upgrading maybe the handling as well or we can do we can get legendary test track let's get legendary test track there we go and then we'll save the rest for the rest of the season then unless we can if we can see we can start making some profit now then so there we go that's a good start we are nine days wow our first race is coming up quick and fast isn't it so we will do the first race uh, let's have a look how long are we in this episode now we're 12. I oh, know we probably won't then. We probably won't do it this uh, video. We'll do some more of our stuff. Right. Finances. Incredible reassurance to be involved in the team, which is a healthy financial uh, balance sheet. Fine. Thank you. Uh, good gearbox is built, um, which has definitely already improved our car. So we'll get that fitted onto this car now. Um, so, yeah, it's an improvement, and it means that she can also get a big improvement as well. Uh, so that was the change of the rules, wasn't it? It's made us a lot closer to them, which is nice. So purple should be the higher number on all of these things then. So purple, 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 yep. So purple's got the highest, best and stuff on every car. Good. Do we want to get another gearbox, better one now? Um, so we can go for just standard acceleration. Then we can either go for this one, which is better reliability, puts it to 324. Or we can go for this one, which gets to 329. And then we've got this as well. We can do another one straight after. Excellent. This is crap, though. None of these things are good for us. I mean, it's good for the end of the season to get uh, acceleration to max. Don't get me wrong, but we'll get this built, I suppose. Yeah, there's none of these going to give us much of a bonus, are they? So we'll get this built. It's a good upgrade. Uh, it's going to take 13 days. It's going to be after the first race of the season, but still, it's worth getting. Right, we are ready. Our car is not as bad as it was last season. We're a little bit more closer. I'm so happy with that. I mean, top speed, we're almost average. We're not even bottom. We're actually ninth in speed. We're bottom in acceleration. We're 11th in deceleration. We're equal with everyone else on low speed corners. We're 10th in medium speed corners. We're bottom in high speed corners. So we need to deal with acceleration and high speed corners are our big thing we need to deal with. So we've got cheaper tyres now as well. well. I'll tell you what, we're going to end it there because um, yeah, I don't want this video to go too long. If we start doing this, because I think if we've got qualifying as well, it's going to be even longer. We've got nine races this season now. We added Cape Town, I remember, as well. So it's going to be a bit of a longer season. Uh, of course, if you've enjoyed this video, please do hit like and of course subscribe if you want to see some more. Next time we'll come back and we'll see, we will see if we are even the tiniest bit actually competitive. I'm so looking forward to seeing this is the case because... We're actually caught up a few of the other cars now, and if we did some good upgrades, we could actually be fighting 
uh, even in the mid card, not just the uh, the opener slot. Uh, of course, if you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, all the good stuff, and I'll see you very, very soon for our next race, the first race of season four, and potentially our first race of being able to actually race. Bye.